Hello, I'm Indra, the director of the NHS AI Lab. Today, I'm going to give a very short overview of our national AI in health and care strategy and a short overview of the NHS AI Lab. For those of you who don't know, NHSX, we're a joint unit between the Department of Health and NHS England and Improvement, bringing together both policy and delivery. And the AI Lab is essentially a programme made up of five different delivery um, hubs. As you can see here, we stretch across both the regulation, regulations, skunk works, we have an AI and ethics initiative. We focus predominantly around imaging due to some of the data and the data categorization. And as you may well be aware of our health and care awards. And underneath the delivery programs, we have three supporting programs. So why are we doing an AI and health and care strategy? What's the importance of that? As some of you may know, the lab was set up and was predominantly there to accelerate that safe and ethical development and deployment of AI into health and care. But we're very conscious that we have made those inroads now. And what is next? We want to ask ourselves, how do we ensure that the work we've done today enables us to continue tomorrow? And so working and dovetailing alongside a number of other strategies, such as the data strategy that was released earlier this year, we have formed a strategy within AI and health and care. We're very conscious we need to make it practical and tangible as AI, artificial intelligence, can sometimes be seen as a concept or something that's still in the future. But we're very aware that today, through, for example, our awards, we've seen some very good technologies, some within, for example, brain imaging, looking at how to improve stroke care pathways, some with remote monitoring, looking at how to detect early kidney disease, and then some of those operational processes Earlier in the year, we looked at how do you automate the COVID SITREP processing, situational reporting. So a number of these technologies are being used, they're here, they're working in the front line, but how do we then scale those? How do we drive those forward? And how would you create a strategy that really helps those both on the front line in academia and in innovation really drive that forward, which is why we're doing this AI, and str AI strategy in health and care. So here's our vision. I won't read it out, but you can really see it. It's really about driving forward that learning healthcare system by understanding if we use data, we quantify data and qualify data better, we can really improve the outcomes and really set an example, not just here in the UK, but across the globe as well. And so here's our approach. It's a quite a detailed slide, but just to go through it, all of these different areas, the dependencies, principles and missions really add into how do we push forward our learning healthcare system. We focused on these three areas in the mission, population insights, pathway optimization, and safe scaling, mostly because of the research we've done both with external stakeholders within the lab itself and through a number of academic institutes, for example, Nuria. We have seen that these are the three areas that artificial intelligence, machine learning models really can make the best impact. And so we're looking here then to go a bit further, get some really use, good use cases and tangible technologies to move these um, themes forward. So I'll finish there. Our next steps here is what's next. We're publishing this now over the, over the next few weeks. Please take a look at our website on the NHS X AI Lab Hub but also the website itself, where we're doing a lot more engagement. You can look at the strategy itself. We'd love to get some more feedback. And towards the early end of next year, 2022, we'll look to publish this a lot more formally. So here's all the details. If you'd like to hear a bit more, the hub details are there below, but also where we're going to be launching um, this actual strategy. So thank you for listening and take care.